If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. A couple of big stories uh, happening all right now. Uh, right now, the top trending topic is the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which is a bridge in Baltimore. Overnight, a ship, a shipping container ship, crashed into the bridge in the middle of the night, like 1 o'clock in the morning. And they, they're they now searching for 20 people who were driving over the bridge. At least seven cars ended up in the water. So mm. search, dive, rescue teams are now trying to uh, recover people. Um, they're calling it a mass casualty event. They obviously have a lot of questions about what happened. Why did the ship crash into the bridge? Certainly. Uh, and it's not a section of the bridge that collapsed into the water. It is the entire bridge. It is yeah. hard to watch the video footage of it because it's from a distance. But you're watching the entire bridge, section by section, fall into the water. And it's, yeah. it's oh, got to be overwhelming if you're trying to rescue these people. There's a whole bridge in the water, and you're trying to find a car in the dark. It's freezing. unbelievable. It's freezing cold water. Where's the person that hit it? Do they, they have that person in custody? I didn't or see that mentioned or... in the article, that, the last article that I read. The uh, the video shows as the bridge collapses, the ship is still on the scene. Yeah. So I'm assuming they're going to take this person in for questioning and everybody mm -hmm. on board because it was flying a Singaporean, Singaporean flag. Um, and they're going to have a lot of questions about how this happened. Yeah. So uh, it is a crazy scene. If you haven't seen the video, I'm sure there will be more developments uh, throughout the morning so that is the top trending topic and then right below that uh, you'll see diddy trending oh uh they went and raided his homes in florida and in california uh he's under federal investigation you know diddy's been in the news a lot a lot of people have accusing him of a variety of different things um mm -hmm. and yeah. all while this is happening his sons are taken out of his house and diddy's private jet is flying up and down California. It's all over mm -hmm. the place before finally He's landing in, in, in Antigua. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of things going on with Diddy. Here's right the now. one thing I was unclear about. Did he flee to Antigua or because the, the you can the, still get extradited in Antigua. But 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 he like almost like he knew this was coming. He got out. And like he's gonna lay low and see what's happening because he made sure he well, wasn't at home. And usually, you know, in the movies they'll say, just don't leave town. Yeah. You know, you're not a suspect, but don't leave town. Yeah. You know, something like that. Uh, but just, I mean, the, the main thing to remember with this is um, I've been a bad boy uh, before I even heard of Puffy Combs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, TJ. That's it right there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so there will be uh, more developments about that as well, I'm sure, throughout the day. Um, Nobody won the Powerball last night, so that that money's approaching a billion dollars. Mega Millions uh, drawing tonight for another billion dollars. So. I think I'm gonna win those. Yeah. You win both of them. I forgot to buy a ticket yesterday, or I would have won yesterday. But I bought two. I didn't win anything, I guess. Next Powerball drawing happens on Wednesday, I think. So it's Wednesday or Friday. I thought it said Wednesday. I could be wrong. Powerball's okay. Wednesday. I think Friday is the. That's it. Friday's Mega Millions. I get them all. I also think Mega Millions is tonight. Yeah, yeah. Mega yeah. Millions yeah. Mega is tonight, tonight yeah. and Friday. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Both over a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of money. If yeah. you're a girl named Megan, you need to be calling yourself Megan Millions. Just <laughs> saying. <laughs> That's cool, a good idea. Cool nickname. Very good That's idea. You should do. That's what's uh, now trending. It's Tuesday, which means group therapy. Today's group therapy is um, different than any we've ever had before. Uh, I'll be very curious to see what people think because it involves a life or death situation. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, 
start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. It's Tuesday. The doctors are in. This, this is group therapy on the Ace and TJ Show. On the Ace and TJ Show. All right, every Tuesday at this time, we cover questions from members of the Ace and TJ Radio family. If you have a question about something in your life, you need some advice from the Ace and TJ Radio family, here's what you do. Just DM us on anything. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, doesn't make any difference. At the Ace TJ Show for all of them. We've never had anything like this. Um, sorry, please keep me anonymous. It comes from uh, a female. I am overwhelmed right now with the situation. My boyfriend and I have been together almost two years. We're at that point where we are talking about our future and planning to spend our lives together. He is the love of my life. Before we met, he was in a long-term relationship that started in college. I know that this was a true love for him, and she broke his heart. It took him a long time to get over it, and he still doesn't like to talk about it even now. It was a very sad and very dark time for him. I do know he loves me, but I have wondered if she is his true love, and he has just managed to move on. Thursday, she contacted him for the first time in years and told him that she has cancer, that she is dying, and she would like to see him one last time. He would have to drive a couple hours to his hometown to see her as she has moved in with her parents. It is very sad. It really is. But, all caps, I do not want him doing this. I feel, I feel terrible for saying that. And I don't know that if it's, I don't know if it's even my place to say that to him. He told her he would think about it. I know it is weighing on him. I am scared he will realize that he loves her more than me when he sees her, or this will stir up some old feelings and cause problems for us. I know she did some bad stuff to him, and I just don't know how to feel. No, I don't want to go and meet her. That just seems too hard and weird for everyone. What do I do? If he feels it's the right thing to do, then I can't tell him to go. Then I can't tell him don't go, right? Please help. <laughs> Why are you laughing, DJ? That's funny. That's a funny situation. Y'all don't see the humor in that? I do not. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First off, can she tell him, don't go? Yes. Does he have to listen to her? No. <laughs> exactly. She, she can, can tell him anything she wants. She can tell him anything she wants. It's true, yeah. <laughs> She can say but, anything. Or the best thing to do is not say anything that you, you know, that you don't want him to go. Then when he does go, like, encourage it. Then when he does go and he comes back, then uh, give him the silent treatment or make him feel like he's done something wrong and you're hurt. Right. That's the, that's the way you should handle it. Never say Because I suspect loud. that's yeah. the way it's going to go down. You, you think that's what's going to oh, happen? Yeah. yeah. Um. If the situation were reversed, Riggins, and it were your girlfriend in the situation, would you tell her, I do not want you to go? No. What would you but do? But it, it's tough, though. It's, I, I understand why that's a, a problem. Yeah. Does does she want to just apologize? I mean, does she want to see him one last time say, hey, I'm really sorry for what I did to you. I know I hey. hurt you. Like, to clear her own conscience before she dies. In all seriousness, cancer patients can talk on the phone. Why he got to go two and a half hours to sit face to face with her? Or they got like a FaceTime too. She's, yeah, well, they can do all of that. Why do you got to go? It's different when you see someone in person uh, and can shake their hand, and mm. give them a hug, and life is better now. We're all moving. Yeah, that's on. if you if it's your grandma, <laughs> <laughs> not so, some ex. At the Ace TJ show, what are your thoughts? What can she do? What should she do? We'll get your answers next. This is the Ace and TJ show. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenic. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying out the others, I decided to try Neogenic. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenic, where all you have to lose is pain. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Available when you want it. 
how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. All right, today's group therapy. Um, couple's been together for almost two years. They've talked about taking the next step, but Thursday, his ex, who just shattered his heart after a long-term relationship years ago, contacted him and told him that she has cancer and that she is dying, and she would like to see him one last time. He would have to drive a couple hours to his hometown to see her as she has moved in with her parents. Um, and this girl says, she admits it's very sad. It really is. But she does not want her boyfriend going and doing this. He told her he would think about it. She says she's scared. He will realize that he actually loves her more than me. Uh, scared that this would stir up some old feelings and cause problems. Um, and she was wondering, can I even tell him, don't go? And as TJ pointed out, you can tell him anything you want. It doesn't mean he's going to listen to you. Um. So at the Ace TJ Show, whatever your thoughts are, we've got this posted on all of our social media. Uh, Jennifer said, if he feels the need to say goodbye to her, there is no way you should stop him. You are there to love and support him. Your jealous ways will destroy your relationship, get control of your negative thinking, and get secure in your place in his life. Don't be petty on this. Okay. I don't believe that. Uh, She's not there to love and support him. It's his girlfriend. She, ha- his- she hasn't committed to loving and supporting everything that he wants to do. Well, she says they want to move in. They're, they're they want to. Oh. They want to uh, get married. That's just who they're. Right. Well, the they're, their life but together. they're not. Um, and they're not even engaged. Amanda says, "Drive him. If it was his true love, he will have major feelings flowing after the meet. Maybe then he'll want to talk about what she did and where y'all's lives are moving on to." It's a chapter in his book he hasn't closed, <laughs> and there's more than heartbreak there. If you are truly in love with him, be there for him with every emotional hard time and good time. <laughs> TJ Scott, yeah, what is so funny? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. TJ just thinks this is the funniest thing ever. I, just, uh, I love the fact that everybody's just so supportive and just so open-minded about the whole thing. I just think if you're in the situation, it might be a little bit different. I don't know. I agree. Well, probably. You know. Yeah. Probably, but <laughs> I, I say if think... she's that insecure though, then she's with the wrong guy. Mm. That's a good point. Uh, n- n- nobody's fault. Just not gonna work out. Um, Don says he is an adult. Support his decision. Be open to communicating about his feelings concerning how she hurt him. And the reason she wanted to see him, it probably the closure he needed and will make your relationship stronger. Mm. I mean, there is a part of this, though, that I think that one of the problems is that people believe in today's society, um, you just have to support whatever he, whatever the other person does, even if you disagree with it. Yeah. And she may not, she literally doesn't want him to go. I don't think there's anything wrong with her saying, hey, I'm worried about this. I'm not a fan of you going and doing this. I think it's done anyway. Because if he goes and he comes back, then, like I said earlier, she's not going to treat him the same. And if he doesn't go, and then he's like, I should have gone and said goodbye to her face to face. And then she's going to go, well, I wish you would have. <laughs> I wish you had her. I guess you wish I was the one lying there dying, don't you? You're saying it's a no win for him at it's this point. Done. It's done, done. done. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got something good and something a little frustrating that you're going to absolutely be, you'll think about this guaranteed at least <laughs> once over the course of the next couple of days. Coming up next in Delicious Audio. Live on your radio and anytime you want us, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard 
barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Do you want something fun first or do you want something that might make you go, what is going on? Fun. Where do you want to start? Fun? Okay. Let's go fun. Uh, Today's delicious audio, there's an eight-year-old named Jackson who is essentially uh, your uh, grandpa reincarnated. Um, he is <laughs> checking out some equipment, some farm equipment, and uh, just chatting with the salesman. What's the width on the mower deck? I believe that's from 72 inches. Ooh, that's, that's nice stuff. I, I like this mower. You like the mower? I really like the one with the cab. That's probably Oh, the... if I'm going to mow grass, I won't be comfortable. I won't be in air conditioning. I like all the stuff you got here. Aterex, sprayer. John Deere's a nice company. They've been in business since 1837. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about, Dave. That's cool. John Deere's a company since 1837. Sounds like he knows his stuff. Too. He mm -hmm. clearly knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I love that. That's kid. a great company. I love yeah. that. Kid. They've been like the one with the cab. Who's the one with the cab? You got a sprayer? I like the one with the sprayer. Um, <laughs> and then there's this. As spring approaches and the days <laughs> become more beautiful and sunny and wonderful, there's a new type of guilt that just got dropped on us all. This is so dumb, but it's trending. Um, it's called sunshine guilt. Um, well, well, we'll let this person explain. I am experiencing sunshine guilt right now. It is an abnormally beautiful day outside, but I'm tired. So now I feel this pressure to go outside and go for a walk and enjoy the weather while it lasts. I can't enjoy myself indoors now because the whole time I'm thinking that I should be outside. So basically my day is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little ridiculous. Basically, yeah. the whole day is ruined because she feels like she should be outside because it's beautiful, but she's too mm -hmm. tired to go outside. So now she feels terrible if she goes outside and terrible if she doesn't. That's yeah, dumb. and I don't blame. <laughs> now I've gotten to where I don't blame the people who post this stuff because people have been saying that forever. I feel kind of guilty if I don't go out when it's when it's sunny, or they'll say, "I hope it rains today because I'm tired. I don't want to have to worry about having to go outside." But when people give it a name like that. It's not them that I blame for it being overly ridiculous. It's the uh, the the people who glom onto it and say, "Oh my God, this is so brilliant! I've never heard of anything yeah. like this before." Yeah. You know, I agree. And make it such a big yes. deal, it's like instead of just going, "Oh yeah, everybody got that." Next, I was <laughs> yeah. listening to that this morning before the show, and Teddy Rob goes, "Ooh, I've never had that." <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was like, yeah, not, I said, Rob, not once you've never looked outside and thought." Man, I should get outside today. It's so pretty. He's like, no, never have. Maybe, maybe there's times that I've done been the opposite. Like I'm, I'm outside looking in, going, man, that AC looks cool in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When has that happened? Yeah. When you were outside. When you were outside. <laughs> it happens very rarely, but it happens. Uh, so there's two huge stories coming up today. Uh, you've probably seen it in the news. We will give you all the details coming up and now trending. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. All right, top story of the day, uh, the Francis Scott Key Bridge has collapsed in Baltimore. A shipping container ship 
uh, crashed into it overnight about one o'clock in the morning. And uh, they originally they said seven cars were in the water, but the new report says they're searching for up to 20 people in the water. Um, so dive teams are on the scene. The ship still looks like it's at the location, but uh, you know they've signaled that they're going to have some questions for the what do you call it? Is it the pilot of the ship? Captain. The, the captain, the of, captain the of the ship. So uh, Singapore is also one of the top trending topics because that was the flag that was on the ship, a Singaporean flag. So, Sometimes they do call them pilots, though. Like when they're going up and down the Hudson River and all that, they call them the pilot. I think on the news this morning they called it the pilot. You never know when to call it. Mm. I, I'd never heard that before, so I was I, mm. I second-guessing myself. But... Another thing, as a side note, I was wondering about that. I wonder how many young people in U.S. America today uh, know who Francis Scott Key was. Mm. Yeah, probably not Good that question. many. Probably not that many. Sad. Yeah, maybe. Mm. No, definitely. Yeah. yeah um, and, you know, and just in case you don't know, Francis Scott Key um, was the very first coach of the uh, University of North Carolina Tar Heels. Oh, my God. <laughs> Got it. I have your answer, Riggins. Pilot. Uh, it is he's a the the captain of the ship is called the pilot when working primarily within a harbor or a port. He okay. just moves the boat through hazardous water. Captain is on the open sea, on the open water. Oh, that's that's good information yeah. to know. So, like in this case, because it was working up that river through the har- to the harbor and everything, because it's small and treacherous, he's the pilot. They said its ultimate destination was Sri Lanka. I thought to go to Sri Lanka, you got to go through Baltimore. I don't know. I, I'm very confused about where Sri Lanka well, is. They're probably <laughs> shipping materials out of Baltimore. Their harbor there is pretty so. busy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, wait a minute. Where is Sri Lanka? Is it off the coast of yeah. Florida? I really don't know anymore. <laughs> um, and then Diddy is also one of the top trending topics. His homes were raided in Los Angeles and Miami yesterday. Uh, he's under federal investigation for a variety of things. Um, and they've kept pretty mum on the details but you know if they're going into raid multiple homes at the same time they i would imagine they've got some information and this is uh this is all coming to a head but uh diddy in in some hot water it, it would seem so he is now it looks like he's in antigua his private plane was flying up and down california's coast yesterday making a couple stops before finally arriving in antigua yesterday afternoon so tmz has a lot of videos of that and then uh, just one other quick thing, Taylor and Travis down in the Bahamas, they're calling it uh, lovers in the Bahamas, packing on the PDA. <laughs> the problem I have with it is the, the pictures are so grainy, oh which God. means the boats must have been yeah. a thousand in Sri Lanka. miles in yeah. Sri Lanka. <laughs> I'm like, this is not okay. Like it's <laughs> not, I don't know, it seems very creepy to me, very stalkerish. But uh, those are a few things that are now trending. <laughs> Uh, we're going to play a game uh, coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. The Ace and TJ show sponsored by our friend Richard Takato. Great dude. Ace and TJ's friend, mortgage expert, refinancing, looking to buy a home. Richard can do all that. He's got a lot of options for you. Uh, But you can also do this home equity line. If you need cash, you can get approved for a home equity line. All it takes is one short phone call with Richard. Richard. Yeah. And the best Richard. part about that is you can you can do that and they can approve you. You can get approved within the day and have your money within like two days or three days, whatever. It's, it's very fast. Cash in hand. That's dope. So homewithrichard.com. You're going to love that guy. Love him. Uh, so we're going to play a little game real quick. It's called Word Association. You know how this works. I'm going to throw it out. You give me the first word. 
that comes to your mind right. or first thought. We right. can we can be, play it a little loosely. Uh, Ace Ashton Kutcher. Okay, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> That's, That's about an interesting it. Interesting answer. Yeah, I just I don't and you know, I don't know too much. He seems to be an okay guy. Okay, you know. I don't. I don't think it was great that he wrote that letter to defend Danny Masterson. You know that kind of soured yeah. him a little bit in my eyes. But on the other hand, he was trying to be loyal to a friend. But that friend did some really bad stuff. So yeah. <laughs> he's okay. DJ Kate Middleton, sick, sick. Uh, Rob, cowboy, Kid Rock, Kid Rock. Uh, good one, Rob. <laughs> uh, Ace Applebee's. Okay. Okay. Uh, TJ COVID. <laughs> Fake. Fake? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not that COVID itself as a, as a condition, as a virus was fake, but, I mean, in the way that uh, they politicized it and did all of the, the uh, scams and stuff with people on COVID. Yeah, sure. That's, uh, that's what I mean. Yeah. Rob, uh, Bucky's. Huge. Huge. Uh, Ace, licorice. No. No. TJ, a loofah. Disgusting. <laughs> uh, Rob, OnlyFans. Uh, scandalous. Scandalous. Ooh, a good word, Rob. Ace, five guys. Delicious. Delicious. Uh, TJ, Backstreet Boys. Talented. Talented. Really? I like Backstreet <laughs> okay. Boys. Yeah. I think they're talented. Uh, Rob, celery. Yeah. <laughs> Not a word, more of just yeah. a sound. Uh, ace, vest. What, vest? Vest. Okay. I mean, I don't, sometimes they're cool, sometimes they're not. I don't have an answer for that. Ace really. gave three okay. Yeah. I mean, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> but there's inflection in those okay. Holy cow. Yeah. One, was, one was okay, one was okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. like okay. TJ, mm -hmm. Cardi B. Uh, disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, from all the farting and stuff she does. On, yeah. It's okay. Nasty. Fair nasty. enough. Uh, Rob, TikTok. Entertainment. Yep. Uh, Ace, margaritas. They're okay. They're okay. No, they're, no. Listen, I, if I have to act like I'm into <laughs> group no. therapy, you got to act like you're into this <laughs> really? game. I, margaritas. <laughs> Delicious. Good. Okay. Typical drink of choice for me. You, there's never a bad time for a good margarita. Okay. TJ, chaps. <laughs> Rodeo. Rodeo. Damn, I wish you'd give me that one. <laughs> <laughs> what would you... Well, we don't have time. Mm. I, uh, <laughs> I wanted that one. <laughs> I really wish I had that one, man. Why don't you give me chaps? <laughs> uh, we'll do some more next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense. It makes life much easier. Go to homewithrichard.com to start the process. A lot of options with Richard Chicago. Don't miss this opportunity. Homewithrichard.com. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you. A proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details. each weekday on your radio anytime you want wherever you get podcasts this is the ace and tj podcast and radio show so a ace was just asking about my dad during the uh, commercial he was asking my dad's down in atlanta he was uh caddying for my nephew who was in a golf tournament he was really excited about it and he's retired he's got all the time so he, he, he came back from atlanta yesterday but um i think i'm actually turning into my dad because i've made a big life change uh, for the last week, and it has totally uh, changed everything for me. I am now uh, taking a shower before bed. Yeah. I was never a shower before bed guy. My dad was. Two showers a day kind of guy. Mm. Um, and it's weird. I mean, I brushed my teeth at the sink, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go take a shower. It's great. Does everybody shower before bed? Does anybody shower before Sometimes bed? Sometimes I do. Yeah, yeah, and I'll do it again in the morning. 
Yeah, but there's so so little time between you know when I go to bed and then when I wake up. It so. did seem it <laughs> it seems a little redundant when you're doing them that quickly. It's supposed to be for relaxation as much as anything else. I mean, I know it cleans you, but it's also supposed to be more relaxing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What are you? Are you a shower two two times a day after the gym? Two times a day, definitely. But usually, uh, yeah, usually it's more of a late afternoon shower as opposed to right before bed. Yeah, Rob, are you a two shower, one shower a day? One shower a day. You're on one a day? Yeah, before bed. So at least we're getting one a day now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that so shows signs of growth. Mm-hmm. Rob, is that true? What? Like when Meredith was gone that entire week last, this was it a week ago she was gone for a whole week, you showered every day? Uh, as long as I had somewhere to go that next day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. There's a stipulation to it. If as long as... As long as, as I had somewhere to go the next day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why is bed the only piece of furniture we don't put a the in front of? I do it before bed. You wouldn't say, I do that before couch. Or I do that before chair. Yeah, you sure would. You I never say, thought I of that. I do that before I sit on the chair or before on the couch. To, before I go to bed. But he just said, I do that before bed. Yeah, it's like a verb. Yeah. Bed yeah. is a verb, I guess, yeah. before I go to sleep. Sorry. <laughs> just, that's what I think about. <laughs> <laughs> uh But, you know, I I think I am turning into my dad in a lot of ways. But one of the things that really drives my mom crazy now that they've got time to really uh, ruminate about problems they have with each other is he leaves his keys, his wallet, and his college ring in the same place every day on the kitchen counter. And she likes to keep those counters clean. And she's got a housekeeper or whatever, but she likes seeing a clean kitchen countertop. She even got him a little bowl to put his stuff in by the front door and he refuses to use it. Um, so obviously that is frustrating. Regard, as, as minor as you might think it is, she's asked him to not do this mm-hmm. and he continues to do it. Now, would it bother me? No, not really. But I see why she, her frustration and she that just would, tells me. It would drive me nuts. Yeah, I kind of get it. She even got a little bowl. Here, put it. please put them in there. That's all I'm asking is put them in there. Yeah. It's very similar to me and Meredith no. when I keep pulling out the air fryer. No, uh, kind of, but you're doing it purposely to be uh, yeah, obnoxious. You're right. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I don't think my dad is. Maybe he is. But what is the thing, like, you just bite your tongue about all the time. In your house, at work, with your friends, you find yourself not wanting to nag, so you just bite your tongue. At the Ace TJ <laughs> Show on social media, we'll get your answers next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenics. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying all the others, I decided to try Neogenics. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenics, where all you have to lose is pain. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. Just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So uh, we're talking about biting your tongue. Well, first of all, go download the Ace and TJ family app. You can listen to the show, watch the show. You can check out TJ's podcast, Ace and Friends radio show. Uh, and plus a bunch of exclusive content. You win prizes, all that crazy stuff. AceTJ.com slash app go get it so i was talking about i'm kind of turning into my dad a little bit Uh, he was always a shower before bed guy now i am but i don't do a lot of things like my dad he will just put his keys and stuff right on the counter and it drives my mom crazy but she never says anything to him she just tries to guide him tries to nudge him in the right direction uh but she bites her tongue about it a lot so what are you biting your tongue about in in your regular life for me uh you know seeing somebody throw dirty clothes in a hamper and letting it hang off the edge, not making it fully into the hamper. How do you not? How yeah. do you? How are you as okay with there. that? Yeah. Just flip it right over in there. It's yeah. you got halfway there. That's like even more frustrating than just leaving it on the floor. Mine is putting clothes in the dirty clothes, and they're inside out. 
all of Amanda's clothes go in inside out. And so I, I, I refuse to turn them right side, right side out. So I just fold them inside out and give them to her. So she's like peeling stuff off and like, throwing yeah, it like right she in. She takes her hoodie off and she just peels it off over her head and throws it in there. Well, I, you know, I, it takes you two seconds to do one, but if you got to do 10 of those, it's annoying. But isn't that part of doing laundry? No. Flip it. It is not. I just. My mom told um, me it's your responsibility to put it in there the right way. I bite my tongue when people say things that are so obvious. So obvious. Yeah, and try to get me to agree with it. Like, well, of course, that's obvious. I mean, don't waste my time with that. Like what? Well, like Can't the you... whole, I just, I just absolutely love clean sheets. <laughs> Everybody loves clean sheets. There's not a single person alive that says, I prefer dirty sheets to clean sheets. Yeah. And they go, don't you? Of course. Meredith says that every time she changes the sheets. I love clean sheets. Yeah. No, she I says just, it out loud. Don't you just love clean sheets? Yeah. She said literally the exact same thing. What do you say? I say, yeah, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> You're not as impressed by it. Every time she changes uh, the sheets, that's great. Um, <laughs> now, Michelle's got, she says she bites her tongue when her husband puts his cigarette butts in his pockets and forgets to what? take them out. Nice. They end up in the washer and the dryer. Because he probably just thumps the cherry off uh, of it because there's no ashtray to put it in or anything instead of littering and he puts it in his pocket and he's going to get it later. I remember putting them back in like the box of oh, cigarettes and then when you stinks. open the lid of that oh. box of cigarettes, the most... I, I mean, it just <laughs> stinks so badly. It's like nothing you've ever smelled before. It's so uh. gross. Um, there's a lot of these people are biting their tongue, but I love we're giving them the avenue to, to complain mm. about it. Um, Amanda said her husband leaves things on the kitchen counter. Um, I used to work with somebody that would bring in a Brussels sprout salad for lunch at, during all of her shifts. Mm. It smelled like um, a hot bag of bag. <laughs> <butt cheese. laughs> yeah. yeah. Hot bag of butt cheese. And it was nasty. Um, <laughs> uh, Tracy said, I manage a dry cleaning laundry service. Men who don't unbutton their shirts when they take them off drives me crazy. Some are even inside out, still buttoned. One customer brings them buttoned up on a hanger. Everybody's got problems with the laundry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's a couple of stories happening in the news. We've got to give you all the details coming up in Now Trending. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know there there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. The Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore has collapsed uh, after being hit by a cargo ship early this morning. Uh, the cargo ship was flying a Singaporean flag, uh, searching for 20 individuals in the water right now search teams, dive teams, rescue teams, all on the scene as uh, the story develops. But it is a crazy video, if you haven't already seen it this morning, of this massive bridge just quickly, within five seconds, all crumbling oh, into the water. It's hard to watch. Yeah, so um, the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore is down. That is the top trending topic, uh, followed by Diddy. Uh, Diddy's homes were raided, his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. He is under federal investigation, and uh, he it looks like he uh, flew privately out to Antigua as this was all happening. Uh, the helicopters were zooming in on his children being brought out uh, with their hands over their head, 
out of his mansion. And a lot of people were asking, it's Monday at two at 1 p.m. What are your kids doing at home? Your grown adult kids. Why are they well, not? Yeah, you said <laughs> children. It makes it seem like they got six year olds with their hands on top of their heads. Well, he, were they that small? Uh, he, I think he's got some younger kids, but the the ones that are being brought out were, yeah, were are adult, adult children. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what are you doing at home at 1 p.m. On, on a Monday? Go to work. Um, <laughs> maybe they work at night. Maybe they maybe they go to uh, school online. <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> I'm they saying work. what other people are saying on the internet. Okay, I'm just saying if they work in the recording business, they maybe they work at night. night they, they might not. Mm. They might not roll into the studio until 8 p.m. and work 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Who mm. knows? Are they in music? I don't know. I'm just saying maybe he did. He's in music. Puffy. Could be any number of things happening. Maybe they had the day off. What you um, Is Diddy paying you? It could be. Maybe they work uh, Saturday, Sunday, and get off on Monday. <laughs> like me and Michi Restaurant up here. They don't work on Mondays. Yeah, maybe. I'm saying what other people are saying. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. What'd you do, Puffy? <laughs> Go on, tell us what you did. Hot water, it looks that way. So those are just a few things that are now trending. All right, we have a travel athlete among us. You know, they may always say, hey, he's really good. He plays travel ball. Well, sometimes travel teams aren't great just because they don't play you know, right. in the area. But, I mean, we have... The, the travel athlete of the century, I think, right here on the Ace and TJ Show. We'll explain it all next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So yesterday... At some point on one of our shows or podcasts or something, we found out that Tech D Rob um, is now playing in tournaments, Star Wars card game tournaments, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. But now he has, uh, he has upgraded that to being part of a travel team of tournament players. He's going out of state, taking his talents out of state to play Star Wars tournaments. Okay. Where's the first one, Rob? Uh, the first one's in Atlanta. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this isn't a joke. You no, mean, it's not a joke. Oh. What makes you think this would be a joke? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know. And, and, was, and there's another one? Yeah, and then in uh, in May, I will be going to Richmond. Wow. So Richmond, north of Richmond. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You're going to be up there. Be up there for May the 4th. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Star Wars. Get Come it. on now. Yeah. Is that why they're doing So it? how many of the people that you hang out with are going to be part of the team? At least two. Uh, maybe three if he can, you know, ditch his family. Okay, but when you go get in these tournaments, you don't go. You don't play as a team, do you? No, you don't. No. Okay. We, we, well, we, like, practice. Like, we'll play each other to figure out, like, what our weaknesses are in the, in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can, I can tell you what your weaknesses are <laughs> without seeing you uh -huh. play. But... Uh, are you going to get a special T-shirt made and, no. and the whole thing like a uniform? No, I, I, we've we've done travel games for other games a long time ago. I did one, um, but no, we don't. We, no team name or anything. And what do you win on these games? So both of these have a uh, one thousand dollar prize for the top eight. So it's split up between the the top eight people, thousand dollars. And then there's going to be like so there's no them. one winner champion. There person? will be one, but they they don't win the full thousand dollars. They they get more than everybody else, but it's the, the thousand dollars is split up among. The oh, people. okay. So there's right. a thousand dollar prize. Yeah. And it then it gets split. Okay. Yeah. So the the first and second and third and fourth will get the most. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. 
Yeah. So, like, so you might get five bucks if you're a number eight. Or right. Something. Number one could get $150. Number two could get 100 bucks. That kind mm. of thing. Yeah, I forgot what the prize that was. Yeah. Okay. I don't expect to be in the top eight, but we'll figure it out. So uh, what's the only thing that you got to make sure of, though, before you can go? That Meredith's going to be home. To do what? Watch these stupid dogs. Mm-hmm. Those dogs. <laughs> That bad dog could be holding you back from your true calling yeah. of yeah. being a, a Star Wars tournament athlete. This is—I mean, I, I was the regional champion for a different card game. I'm trying—I'm trying to to update my resume with a Star Wars Universe regional <laughs> champion. Hey, we'll give you time to flex without you having to <laughs> you know, bust it through here. All right, so good for you. Congratulations. Thanks. Moving on. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show yeah, me about that refi. Show me about refi. that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. As winter packs its bags and spring settles in, the flowers they are blooming. And as Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress, the deals are booming. You write poetry? Does one ask a fish if it swims, or a bird if it flies? It was a long winter. Love where you live, Lake Norman, with up to $1,500 in free furniture with the purchase of a mattress sleep system. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Ace, I don't... um... I'm, uh, I don't mean to ask you stuff about your divorce and all that. Uh, I'm trying not to ask you anything that you're not supposed to talk about because I know yeah. there are things in in a, in a divorce agreement and all that. So what do you call that when you do you say compliance? You know, I comply to the divorce agreement. Is that what you say? I guess. Is that the legal term? Yes, it is. I don't know. Um, well, one of the greatest uh, and most successful playwrights in America in American history. His name is uh, Neil Simon. And Neil Simon got divorced. And in his divorce settlement, his ex-wife was to receive all the proceeds from the next play that he wrote for Broadway. So he wrote a play called Fools, and he intentionally made it horrible. So it flopped, made no money, and she got no money out of his works because... He, he was such a big deal at the time, he could say, look, I'm writing a play that I know sucks, but I still want it on Broadway, and people would produce it, sponsor it, and put it out there. 1981. Just to, man, love that. I mean, that is... <laughs> is that a good... That thing? is the pet, that is Petty LaBelle. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That is crazy. That's Richard Petty. That is Richard Petty. <laughs> I love that. Meaning it's Petty, not actually richard petty yeah. yeah that's his real name that's crazy yeah but I, to have the stroke to go to somebody and go you're gonna need to produce this and then the next one is gonna be really good but this one we mm-hmm. need to pre- just I and mean, we're gonna tank it and close it uh, yeah you're okay <laughs> to go to, to go to all of that but he didn't really go to any trouble because he was gonna have to write another one anyway he would be writing a play he would yeah. just i mean this one i wonder how much work it took him to make it bad you know, he's yeah. so talented, yeah. so great. It's like a, a really good singer. Like, how hard would it be for a great singer to sing off-key like the uh, beginning auditions of American Idol yeah. people do? I mean, that would be hard for somebody who could really sing. Just think if you're an actor, though, and you think, oh, I got cast in a Neil Simon play. And it's that one, and it sucks. <laughs> but, I mean, 
Yeah, I guess that would be bad because no matter what your performance is, you're going to get bad reviews because the the, the yeah. material is so bad. And you're hoping for a good run on Broadway, yeah. and nope. <laughs> oh, I just read the synopsis. It sounds horrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, at least you know it was intentional now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a good story for about a, a tutor in Ukraine. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. It's more than just a great room that makes the Hyatt-centric South Park Charlotte such a special hotel. It's the great restaurants, the great bar, the great meeting rooms, and a superior location. Make reservations and get details at acetj.com slash Hyatt. just listen to the ace and tj show watch it now available 24 hours a day on youtube just search for ace tj tv this is the ace and tj podcast and radio show okay it was last week um where i came in and i said um i had what i thought was the best piece of audio to ever come out of a courtroom and it, it was, um, who is the rapper's case? Who was it? Um, Young, Thug. Young Thug. And one of the witnesses for the prosecution said uh, something along the lines of, could I get some water or something? Because I'm high as a, you know, whatever. Um, but my son sent me this little clip from an Instagram or a TikTok or something. And it is an attorney standing in the court and the judge is telling him, because it's really fast. I got to explain to you. It goes by quickly telling the attorney hey look all right we can move on from that don't even worry about that that's not something you got to worry about right now and then the the attorney's response is just absolutely 2024 classic so don't even worry about that okay okay i was saying that it's just not true it's it's, it's cap to be honest (laughs) (laughs) it's just simply not true it is cap to be honest He's talking yeah. to the judge, yeah, he's right? Talking to the judge in yeah, the so okay. don't even worry about that, okay? Okay. I was just saying that it's just not true. It's, it's, it's cap, to be honest. So cap is a slang, a slang term that um, that is used for lie. You're a lie. Yeah. You're capping means you're lying. And I still have not had anybody explain to me the origin of the term. And they go, well, it just means lying. I get that. I know what it means. But why does cap mean lying? Where does that that you know correlation come from what does that mean but it's obviously something you would not say in a court of law they typically frown on slang in a court of law yeah yeah it is and he already said it it's simply uh not true so he's using it like cap is even more untrue than when i say something's untrue it's cap to be honest oh it's cap oh well well, then yeah yeah then sustained (laughs) Uh, i mean i get it now why you're so upset (laughs) <laughs> I just can't even imagine. Well, if I were sitting there like, I'm, you know, old people go to watch courts, yeah. you know, during the day sometimes, you know, anybody can go and sit and watch your local court trials go on. I, don't, I would have to be removed for laughing. I would have laughed uh, uproarious, uproariously at an attorney telling a judge that it's cap. IMO, it's cap, F-R-F-R. <laughs> yeah. It's cap, to be honest, <laughs> actually. So there you go. It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. All right. Look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato company. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. 
Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies.